Hey everyone, today we're gonna talk about canvas widget in Painter. It's going to be very easy and simple. We will just see some functions provided by the class. Canvas is basically used to draw graphs and charts to get text or images on the window. We will see drawing some simple figures on the canvas. Let's start with it. So from Tinker, I'll import star. That's a very convenient way. Then I'll have my window. I'll write win equals tk. And I'll also give in a title. I'll write win dot title. Let the title be canvas. Okay. Then I'll add my widget. So my widget would be canvas. I'll write canvas equals canvas. And where do I want my canvas? I want it on my window. So I'll write win for master. So basically canvas is a rectangular area where you can draw. Okay, so you have the height and width for canvas. I'll give in the width to be 500 and height to be 500. I'll also give in a background color. Let it be PG equals sky blue. You can also have a cursor for it. So let the cursor type be dot box. You can give an arrow, circle, clock, cross, exchange, heart as a cursor type. There are a lot of cursors in Tinker. So you can see how many arguments you can give in for canvas. You can have border, border width, background, highlight color, insert border width, etc. So I'll just give in these parameters and then I'll pack this widget. I'll write canvas.pack. Then I'll get on to creating the figures. So first of all, I'll write canvas dot create arc. I'll give in the x1, y1 and x2, y2 coordinates. So that's basically the starting and ending position. So I'll write 5 comma 10 and 100 comma 100. Cool. Then I'll also create a line, a simple line that is parallel to the x axis. I'll write canvas dot create line. And I'll give in the starting and ending position 0 comma 80 and 500 comma 80. So you do not need to specify the x1, y1 pair and x2, y2 pair separately. Tinkter knows how to pick the coordinates if they are given in the correct order. Similarly, to draw an ellipse or an oval, I'll write canvas dot create oval. And I'll give in the top left and bottom right coordinates of the rectangle in which the oval would be contained. So I'll give in 200 comma 200 and 400 comma 400. Fine. Then I can also give in a text. So let me use this as the heading for the canvas. I'll write canvas dot create text. The starting position would be 250 comma 10 and the text let it be using canvas. You can also give in bitmaps. You can also draw bitmaps. So I'll write canvas.create bitmap and let the coordinate, let the location for the bitmap be 210,50 and bitmap equals quest head. So you have a lot of kind of bitmaps. You can take error, gray 75, R glass, info, warning, question. I have taken quest head. Then uh, you can also try creating a polygon. So I'll write canvas.create polygon. To create a polygon, you would need the corner coordinates of the polygon. So I'll make a list for that. I'll write points equals. I'll make a list. So I'll try to make a hexagon. So let the coordinates be 100, 100, 120, 100. 140 comma 120 
120 comma 140, 100 comma 140, 80 comma 120. So there are six pairs and 12 points. Okay. So for the argument of create polygon, I'll write points and I'll fill with color pink. So that's all I'd be drawing for right now. I'll call in the main loop. I'll write win dot main loop. So let's run this and check our canvas. So as I run this, you can see that the screen is of a specified size that is 500 comma 500, the canvas size. And if you expand it, you can see that the canvas is not extended. Okay. It's to a specified size. You can see the arc, you can see the bitmap, you can see the line, you can see the hexagon, you can see the oval. So the oval turned out to be a circle because the coordinates that we gave in were 200, 200 and 400, 400. They are the coordinates of a square. Not a problem. And uh, you can also notice the kind of arrow we have within the canvas. Outside the canvas, it's just a normal arrow, but inside it, it's a dot box. Cool. So that's it about drawing on a canvas. You can make a real canvas, like a paint app, using Canvas by Tinker, but it requires events. So since we're not still done with events in Tinker, we would do that later. You can check out how to get images on a canvas. Try to do that and also try to make some complex shapes on the canvas. I hope you will be able to do that. Thank you.